Hello friends, Tony here. In this video now I want to work with the models, but before that let's open the VS Code and I want to open the events migration. We have added the start date and date, but I forget to add also the time, so the time the event is going to happen. What time? Okay, so let's say dollar sign table time and I'm going to say start time or we, we can add just time. I'm going to say start time here and let's say because we have added one more field here we need to run the migration again. So I'm going to say artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed. I have an alias for that. And now let's go to the browser and refresh. We are okay because we have make migrate fresh dash dash seed. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have a WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backup that keep your app safe and a staging environment that let you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulter, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. Now let's open one by one the models. I'm going to open up models attending and here first add the protected fillable. So I'm going to say protected dollar sign fillable. Now you can add a uh, guarded to be an empty array but I prefer to use fillable here and I'm going to add here the user user ID the event the event ID and also we have the num tickets so let's say num tickets and let's close this then we need to create a, a relationship for user and the event so let's say method public function user okay and this one is going to be belong to relationship and let's say here return dollar sign this so this is going to belong to the user. Belong to the user class. Okay, and let's create the same for the event. Method to be event single because it's going to belong to the user, not to the users, and the event to the event, not to the events. Okay, also belong to here and let's say return dollar sign this is going to belong not booted but belong to the event class and save now we are okay with the attending let's open the city and here we need to add also protected dollar sign fillable which is going to be an array with the country ID and the name so country ID and the name let's close this and now let's create the relationship for the country so method public function country and also this one is going to be belong so here and let's say return 
dollar sign this belong to the country class okay close this now the city is going to have many events so let's say here method public function and now we need to say events plural because the city is going to have many events and let's say as many because this is going to be as many relationship and now in here return dollar sign this as many and the event pass near the event class save this one close this close this and let's open the comment and also here first one protected dollar sign fillable we're going to be equal with an array and we're going to say the user id and also the event id and we need also to add the content now if you don't remember you can open the for example for the comment the, the comments table and we have user id event id and the content and then now we need to create the relationship method for user and for the event which is going to be a belong to relationship so let's say here public function user and the relationship is going to be belong to and here i want to return dollar sign this is going to belong to the user class and the same for the event so method event single and belong the relationship and also here return dollar sign this belong to the event class save close also this one and let's open the country and also here first is going to be the protected dollar sign fillable to be equal with an array and here we have only the name so let's say just like this in one line and then we need to create a relationship so country is going to have many uh, cities and also it's going to have many events so let's say public function first cities and this is going to be uh, as many relationship and return dollar sign this so this city this country is going to has many cities and pass here the city model so city class okay then the same for the events public function events plural is going to be uh, has many relationship and return dollar sign this has many event class save close let's open now the event and let's start here so protected protected dollar sign fillable to be equal with an array and here we have uh, many fields so the first one is the title then we have also the slug we have the description and then we have the start date and end date so let's say start underscore date 
and and date also we have the start time what we have other we have the image we have the address so the image address then we have the country id city id uh, user id so let's say user id we have the country id the city id and we have also the num tickets so let's say num tickets and i think we are okay oh uh, yeah we need to add this in the quotes so let's open the events migration title slug description start date and date start time image address num tickets and the user country and city good now let's create the relationship and first i'm going to start with the user country and city so let's say method public function user and it's going to be singular because the event is going to belong to the user the relationship is belong to so let's say here dollar sign this belong to user class save the same thing and why we have something like this ah oh, yeah we need to say return here like this okay method for country also country singular belong to relationship and let's say return dollar sign this belong to country class like this okay let's copy this now and duplicate to save some time and say city and pass the city model here okay now let's create the as many relationship this is going to have many comments so let's say method comments plural and the relationship is going to be as many okay and let's return dollar sign this as many and pass here the comment model okay and let's copy this and do the same for uh, likes it's going to have many likes so likes plural has many relationship and here we need to pass the like class and also the same one is going to be for the uh, attendings so the, the event is going to have ma has many attendings i'm going to say attendings like this and pass here the attending class so comments likes and attendings what we have other here yeah we have tag here so let's say now for tags this is going to belong to many so let's say method uh, tags plural and the relationship is going to be belong belongs to many and let's return dollar sign this belong belongs to many tag class and i think we are okay so the event is going to belong to many tags okay close the event and let's open the gallery now here we start with the protected dollar sign fillable 
will send a B an array with and here we need the, the user ID the image and also the caption and as I said so let's open the galleries here we have user ID image caption okay let's close this and we need to create the relationship for the user so let's say method here public function user singular and this is going to be uh, belong to a relationship because this the gallery is going to belong to the user and let's say return dollar sign of this belong to the user class save close let's open the like and also here we start with protected dollar sign fillable to be able with an array and also here we have the user id and the event id and we need to create a relationship for user and event and i think we have in the attending yeah so here we have a belong to relationship for user and event so let's copy this close and paste it right here just to save some time it's going to be a belong to relationship and we need to import that save and what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this one because also the saved event is going to be the same paste it here and import the belong to relationship save close close this one now the last one is the tag and also we have the user so we start with protected dollar sign fillable to be equal with an array and here we need to add the name and the slug okay and now the tag is going to belong to many events so let's say public function events and this is going to be a belong to many relationship so it belongs to many relationship okay and let's return dollar sign this belong to many and pass here the event class okay open now the user and let's start here i'm going to create first the events so method in the user is going to has many events so events plural the relationship is going to be as many and let's say return dollar sign this user is going to as many event class okay the same thing we have for galleries so let's copy this paste down there say and galleries has many and pass in the gallery model here and why we don't have a gallery gallery yeah we have here oh i make a mistake as you can see here i have named gallery this one so we need to say gallery save and also we need to rename to be a gallery okay let's close and now we are okay 
for galleries. Now the same thing we have for the comments. So copy and paste, let's say here comments. And pass the comment model. Okay, then the same for likes. The user agent has many likes and let's say like here. The same for attendings. So let's how we have created the attendings. No. Say attendings here. And pass the attending class. And we have events, galleries, comments, likes, and attendings. All has many relationships. Okay, I think we are good now, so let's save and let's close also this one. And that's it about this video. Now we have prepared the models. In the next video, we need to create the new event. I hope you enjoy, friends, and see you in that one. All the best.